Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For the past few months I was working on a project, so I thought it worth making a video for this. So I first started by making a design in Fusion 360. It makes whole build process very easy. A special thing about this printer is that there is no 3D printed part in it. The whole frame of this printer is made with plywood, because it is easy to work with with great advantage of high strength. I laminated every piece of frame with plywood mica. I use it just to give a nice look as well as to give good finish to whole frame. For making these types of machine, you should have at least these basic tools, especially a drill machine, and vernier caliper will help a lot. The list of all the components which are used in this printer are given in the video description. Moreover, you can download the 3D model of all the components from GrabKit. Link of my GrabKit page is also given in description. Unfortunately, I can't able to shoot video for the frame assembly, so I made these assembly animation video in Fusion 360. The final look of the frame. After the completion of the frame, it's time to make C and X carriages. I made these carriages with 5mm plyboard. It's very important that every drill hull should be accurate, that's why I am generating drawing from model parts. After generating all the needed drawing, print it. it it's important that the printout should be of actual size. Cutting each drawing carefully. Pacing it to the plyboard. Drilling accurate holes in the plyboard. All the components I am going to use, all the smooth rods and linear bearing, are of 8mm diameter. The actual build video was very long, so I created an animated video from Fusion 360. Hope you enjoy.
some render image from Fusion 360. For the Z-axis actuation, I use these high-quality lead screw. These are far more better than those threaded rods. Now, coming to electronic parts, I am using a Mega 2560 with ramps 1.5 and Raspberry Pi Model 3B for running OctoPi. For controlling these NEMA 17 motor, I am using these cheaper 4988 stepper motor driver. These can easily control micro stepping. For powering all the electronics, I am using computer at TX power supply. I am using these type of power supply, because apart from 12 volts, I need 5 volts for my Raspberry Pi, and also I can use 3.3 volts for these fancy lights. After setting up power supply, I added end stops to all three axes. I am using E3DV6 clone hot end with direct drive extruder. Hot end is mounted with the help of L aluminum extrusion. After binding all up and securing all connection, it is ready for firmware upload. I am choosing Marlin 2.0 firmware for my printer. Last part left was flashing Octoprint OS from Raspberry Pi Imager. It took me almost a whole day to calibrate and level the bed, to get satisfied bed adhesion. Here's my first bench sheet test. The Benchy test result was not satisfactory, so I printed a calibration cube of dimension 300 by 300 by 300 millimeters. After checking the dimensions of calibration cube, I realized that my extruder steps per unit were not correct, so after calculating the correct value and re-uploading the firmware, I again tested a Benchy with 0.15 millimeters layer height. This time the result were very satisfied. Thank you very much. If you have any question, feel free to ask in comment section. And if you enjoyed the video like and consider subscribing to my channel.